Hey, what's up, guys? Gonna be playing some Black Wings. Looks like I'm playing against Infernities. Haven't played that in a long time. Maxi, pretty good card against Infernity. At least I got to draw lots of cards. <laughs> um, so he's gonna go with Duality. He's gonna go with the Call of the Haunted. That's a pretty good card, especially when you go for Infernity Archfiend. Um, I like it because attack. It's pretty good, trainable to a lot of stuff that happens. Unless he has Barrier, but set everything. The thing with Infernity is they lose a Heavy Storm so often. <laughs> like, watch, he's gonna set at least two. At least two. One? Okay. Didn't expect that. It's cool. If he attacks with... What? He's not gonna even... But if he makes a... I don't know. I'd rather just at least set that. Oh, he's just gonna space... Okay. Okay. So he's got... Lots of monsters, my guess in this game. Duality, because Deep Prison's not so good against them. Oh, he's got... He's got a... Dark Hole, a Bottomless, an Archfiend. Put the Archfiend back in the deck, because you, you do not want Archfiend. <laughs> He's going with the Dark Hall. Okay, cool. With all that monsters that I have, pretty good. I mean, there's not really anything in Infernities that has decent attack, except for Archfiend. And you don't want to normal summon Archfiend. That's just not, not the best way to use Archfiend. Um, did you shuffle? Did you shuffle? Someone, gonna, someone mentioned in the chat. Um, I still can't summon anything. I mean, I, I could set this, but like, uh, it's not even worth it. Um, at least I don't feel it is. So what I get for playing Black Wings. I played a decent amount of monsters. I think it's like at least 14. Pro set Dark Hole. <laughs> ah, is that, is that the Necromancer? I have a feeling it's Infernity Necromancer. It's a Bottomless Trap Hole. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know it's a Bottomless Trap Hole. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set Icarus Attack. And I'm also going to set Dimensional Prison. Deep Prison's also good against Infernities. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I'm just waiting for him to, like, I guess, commit more to the field. So, so foolish. Okay. Okay, so, he's gonna go for that. And I guess he's going to set, he can't even set five. Oh, That's fine. You can go for that. What is he gonna do? Then set, then like heavy, then set everything. I, I don't understand what the point of this play is. I'm gonna deep it for sure. Because he can only he can't set everything. He's still gonna have cards in his hand. I'm gonna deep prison it. Fernie necromancer. Fernie beetle. Okay. Not much I can do. Okay. In fact, um, yeah, activate this. So yeah, he still gets his effect though, and he's supposed to summon two, I believe, right? Is there's up two? Okay. And I need to draw one because they're supposed to summon at the same time. And let's see what he ends up going for, because um, this, this is his opportunity to make a big push. He is under maxi though. Um, I won't be able to, even if I draw Gores, I can't summon Gores because I have way too much. Because um, I can't really use Icarus Attack at the moment. But uh, I was setting up, but he was able to uh, set it up pretty well. Um, so let's see what he does at the moment. Because he can't really leave these on the field. These are like all just way too weak. Um, yeah, I'm wondering uh, what he's going to do. Because... I hope he goes for, like, all-in all anyways and goes for, like, Mistworm. Okay, so he's going for a, um, six. Okay, Iron Chain. Oh, he's gonna make me mill. Okay. Should I depress? Like, I almost want a mill. Like, it's cool. I got dark-armed. I'm gonna depress that. <laughs> I want mill. Please, let me mill. Yes. Uh, this is what, three, right? One, two. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, success. That's, that's double. All right, awesome. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do, guys, is um, first we're going to set, we're going to pop two cards, because if I summon guys, um, what can happen is um, 
he could warning and then be out. Um, but if he does bottomless, yeah, then I'd be super like minus. So I'm definitely going to uh, set. Either way, I have to attribute this. Let's go with that one and that. One. There's no way you were going to tell me you were going to activate Infernity Break as soon as I set my monster. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it, it is a cost. It's cool, I won't hit that one now. <laughs> no, of course I'm going to hit this one. So yeah, I think, which one did we target in? I think we targeted these two. I don't remember. Oh, that's cool. I hit Solemn Warning. That's pretty good. And then we're going to Heavy Storm. That's cool. And I think he went for Archfiend for that. No, he went for Necromancer? I thought he got back Archfiend. Didn't he get Archfiend? Oh, maybe someone in chat will hit. It doesn't really matter, um, because I'm, I'm just going to destroy it anyways, because I'm going to go that, and then I'm just going to go banish um, this one, because this one's like kind of useless in my grave. Anyways, I might as well get the damage in. Um, I mean, he had his opportunity, but unfortunately Maxi just ruined him. Like, top deck Archfiend? <laughs> They always do that against me. It's like, literally, it's like, what can you top deck? It's gotta be Archfiend. Like, he already. Yeah, it's fine. You know what's gonna happen? It's cool. We're gonna just go bye bye. Bye bye that card. No, oh, it's cool. It's a barrier. It's completely useless. Uh, I am gonna summon Kalu. If you guys are wondering why, it's because Icarus attack, and he already used Dark Hole and Heavy, so I don't have to worry about those. Um, and I wanna make use of my Icarus attack. And I don't necessarily wanna tribute my Dark Armed <laughs> for Ace Oroko. Um, it doesn't seem like the best idea in my interest. The thing with Infernities, I feel like they have basically one big push, but again, he was under maxi, and um, what was his protection again? And he took 901, I guess. He took 2899. Okay, so he's got 1000. Um, I mean, that's really what comes down to Infernities. You got one big push, if it doesn't go through. Um, you can top back Archfiend, that's about it. Um, yeah, so it looks like Infernities, um, Maxi definitely hurts them a lot, um, but at least you can chain Maxi to when they reveal Archfiend. So I, I'm thinking, this is one of those decks, again, where it just it literally would lose to, uh, one Maxi, well, or that it stops them from playing, because the thing is, well, he, he had, he had Infernity Break, he had a Solemn Warning, but... I had, like, my setup, and I kind of knew what I was doing against Infernities because I've played against them a few times. Uh, he, I would say he had, he had a pretty decent uh, hand, too. Like, uh, if I didn't have that maxi, um, I probably would have lost. Um, also, that mill was <laughs> smart of me because if I didn't get that mill, I wouldn't have got out Dark Arm and popped everything. Well, everything meaning the one... <laughs> um, the one Iron Chain Dragon, but... Yeah, I mean, I had the heavy. But he had, he had Dark Wall. He didn't use Dark Wall. What else did he have? What did I have? I had Torrential, which got MNC. I had Icarus Attack, which was good. Um, and. Yeah, it's just Banish One. That card's pretty good, though. I like that card. It's pretty, I think it has potential. Um, it's pretty good. I don't think there's any benefit to removing Infernities, though. I don't know. I haven't dueled Infernities in a long time. Basically, if you guys haven't seen Infernities, this is what they do. They go for a huge push. And I really felt like. He probably could have still OTK'd me. Um, cause the thing is, what could I have drawn into after, I mean, I had, I had heavy, he would have been able to, I don't know what he would have, would have been able to make. I don't know, can you make Quasar and Infernities? I'm trying to think if you can, cause if you could, that's still an option. Cause basically he got shut down. Like he couldn't make his play. And I think that he just didn't want to just go for a game. Cause there are times where wind players will they'll just go for a game under Maxi and he didn't do that. But yeah, I haven't cast Infernities in a long game, so uh, that's why I'm uploading this. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's Dragon, signing out.